Giuliani here for Asseter Auctioneers, the great Texas Mopar Horde auction event with item number 81, a 1954 Dodge Coronet. Uh, nice four-door sedan, light blue paint. It's been amateur restored to driver quality. The front grille is very nice. The chrome's nearly mint. I don't see any pitting on it. The bumper's great too with the overriders. And uh, on the hood, we see the Dodge Ram uh, hood ornament. Plastic here is cracked but present. Very, very uncommon. But what we don't see here is a V. So even though you might think the Dodge Hemi might be under hood, it shouldn't be because we got no V. So let's see if we have... Yeah, there it is. The little Dodge 230 cubic inch flathead six, also shared with Plymouth. One barrel carburetor. And again, these are bulletproof engines. I mean, they're used in industrial applications and they go back to 1936. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. These are great, reliable engines. Not fast, but certainly, again, very reliable. Uh, the firewall looks fantastic. The original Dodge build tag is there. Um, no signs of rust anywhere on the inner fenders. Nothing structural. And again, this is body on frame. Uh, this vehicle, no unit construction until 1960 in Dodge full size. So the fenders on this look good, are they? Yeah, they are. The fender magnet sticks everywhere. That's beautiful. Even down low here, it wants to stick at every point. That's fantastic. Rust-free fender. The front door looks nice. Down low here, no signs of bubbling. The magnet sticks everywhere. The rocker panel also looks really, really nice. Magnet sticks, no plastic filler there. Let's take a peek inside and see what we find. And, okay, yeah, this is the fluid drive. Uh, there is one pedal, so indeed you put this in gear and motor on down the road with no need to shift. The factory AM radio is present and accounted for, as are all the knobs. Uh, the interior, again, pretty nice, present. Everything's here, the bench seat, the door panels are reasonable, a little tattered here and there, but again, uh, the cardboard's not wet or wilting. It's nice to see it's very dry and crisp inside. And again, this is a four-door sedan, so it has full door frames, no hard tops in the Dodge four-door line for another year or two. The rear door is in nice shape. I love the little vent window here, open it up, get some cool air in the back. Down low, I don't see any signs of rust at all on the door and on the rocker. However, the rear quarter panel right there, we do see a little bit of bubbling. Let's see if it sticks. Yeah, the magnet sticks, so that's first generation rust kind of coming through. I mean, it'll be years before that's really an issue, but there it is, kind of getting started a little tiny bit. Uh, the wheel lip is pretty nice down here. Yeah, a little bit of crunch, but again, the magnet sticks. So this is, you know, honest uh, first gen rust. Again, no putty, nobody's trying to hide anything here. That's good to see. It's honest, you know what you're getting. You can deal with that very quickly and easily. Quarter panel extensions down here, that is wonderfully rust free. That's mint. Magnet sticks everywhere. That's all steel. Nobody's been in there to doctor it. Again, a Dodge Coronet. There is the model line right there. Of course, would go on later into the 60s, the Coronet Super B, etc. But this is the rather humble beginning. Real bumper is in nice shape. The uh, overriders are an option. The tail panel here is looking fantastic. No dents, no filler, none of that kind of stuff. And on the deck lid, I do see this V8 Power Flight. This emblem is from another application. This is a six cylinder car. It does have the Power Flight, but the V8 part, uh, not the case here. The deck lid might have been replaced from another car or the emblem added. Don't know. Inside the trunk, nice spare tire, radials. Uh, the trunk floor looks pretty decent. Yeah, that's not so bad. I mean, I see metal. I don't want to rip on the uh, rubber floor mat, but again, it looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, looks like a spare drum brake or something right there. Moving around to the passenger side. Down low, it looks, once again, looks really, really solid. The magnet sticks beautifully everywhere. So there's no rust going on here. Unlike the other side, this has actually escaped the ravages of rust without any problems at all. That's fantastic. Nice rust-free metal. Uh, right here, yeah, more bubbles. This must be a trouble spot on these vehicles. Again, this magnet will stick, so this has not been doctored. That's uh, first stage rust, if you will, uh, years before that pops through, but, but there it is. Bottom of the door is mint, so is the rocker down low. Magnet sticks everywhere. That's really good to know. Uh, down low here, the door is in good shape. Let's pop that door open. This one doesn't, so let's pop this one here and look inside again. The back seat has the original upholstery. Rubber floor mat, that stuff is factory. Not the little square things, but the uh, part over the tranny tunnel, the drive shaft tunnel, that is the factory rubber floor mat. No carpeting on the base level coronet. 
Uh, but nice, nice uh, original car. Uh, a couple of weeks of elbow grease, just clean it up, wash it out, mechanically uh, run through it, and this would probably be a very nice running, driving car. Let's continue our search on the driver's side door. It's, we're hunting for rust, and sorry we don't find it. <laughs> That's good news. A little bit of a, a little driveway rash right there, not a big deal, but no rust. The rocker panel down low, magnet sticks, no signs of trouble here. Yeah, beautiful. And wrapping it up with the front fender, let's wipe the dust away, and yeah, that's solid. A couple of little, these little dots here, these are years and years away from blossoming. That's solid, but these little zits right here uh, might be corrosion coming from the other side. But again, that's solid. Good stuff. And we follow up here. The wheel lip is beautiful. No filler at all. This fender is great. All metal here. No signs of accident damage or repair. So that's the story of item 81, a 1954 Dodge Coronet six-cylinder four-door sedan.